Got it. Oh yeah, right, this. Uh, this is gonna be the last update video uh, until December 6, 2023 that I'll be wearing this Santa hat. In fact, it might also be the last update video until then with these lights. But guess probably by the next update video, probably some of these will probably already start getting cleaned up. Point remains. Hi guys, welcome back to another update video. In fact, the last update video of 2022. It is Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. Also, yes, if you're curious, this shirt is one of the light Christmas gifts I got on December 27th. I was originally gonna make a part two to that video for the original gifts video that I did on Christmas. However, there's genuinely not actually a point of doing that because all I genuinely got was not only just this shirt, but also these. And I think one other shirt. Where the frick is that, by the way? Where the frick is that? I have no clue. It doesn't matter. But it is somewhere to this. Just darker. Anyway, let's jump into my channel. Oh yeah, this uh, Legos Island episode is currently uploading in the process. So we're not going to be able to view that. I'm also recording this immediately after actually um, stopping filming that. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed these. Uh, I, did not think, I did not think I was going to be making another backyard short again. Uh, let's see the sub count from the week prior. I'm actually curious, actually. What was the sub count from the week prior? Oh, we lost two subscribers. That's fine. Also, yes, I know, I know. I gotta get that figured out. I know. More Stupid PS content on the way. I promise, I promise, guys. All right. Oh, freaky! Upload it again. Now I'll watch that later. Um. Point is, um, yep, back to your short. I got back in. Plus, final Christmas item. Actually, does this even have any comments? All right. So remember at the end of the back to your video on this okay, on this day, yes. December twenty. Genuinely looking. I think this one has comments, right? Uh, yeah. We are locked out here except for using the game. Surprise. Uh, what about this one? I'm only just looking. Longer than I expected it to. Alright, so outside of that, we of course got back reveals for Locked in the Backyard. Back reveals again for all non Christmas related items during Christmas plus Winter Fair. Look back at my club and we ran Ad Encounter 2018 videos. I need to do the 2019 ones as soon as possible. Uh, Lego Master 627's Creations episode 160 for the New Year's Countdown 2023. So I was up to for the prison update 2022. I need to go into ZL3, uh, ZL2 later and start cleaning up the party. I probably won't do the actual lab rooms themselves. So I'll probably just do some of the outside ones. But with that being said, we have back reviews for the last gift. What I got for Christmas 2022. Yeah, there's no need to actually make a secondary part now. I realize there's no point since I only got like three things. And that would be one heck of a boring video. I'm serious, it would actually. Lego Island Christmas 2022, day 25, the finale. Sunny Vlog 265 for Christmas. So I'll have two for searching for the missing gifts. Legos Island Christmas 2022, day 24, which I almost was extremely, and I mean it guys, I'm not even joking, I literally got it up like one minute prior to midnight, or if not two minutes prior to midnight. You do not know how stupid close I was to not getting it out on the right day. Holy frick, I was like two minutes away from not getting it out on the right day. That was insane. 
Back your fields for Christmas Eve. Zolz are free for the search for Santa Sheep. Legos out on Christmas 2022, day 23. Zolz up 2 for the Slay Crafts Part 3, plus Week 2 update for the Christmas Party. Legos out on Christmas 2022, day 22. And the update video from a week ago. Now I have to keep this open because, yeah, that video is uploading. Alright, everybody. Final update of the year. Uh, update video of the year for 2022. Respectively. I say respectively because it's true. With that being said, let's talk about some stuff. So, first off, most importantly, let's talk about ZL2. Oh, and we may talk about uh, this again. Because um, I realized their holiday party ends on January 3rd for my uh, for Nuko Penguin. And dear God, I have still not joined that game because I never got it to look. Level 11 CP gave me some recommendations. If he happens to watch this, thanks. I will hopefully try those out before January 3rd for at least Nuko Penguin's holiday party. I heard there were a lot of cool quests, all custom and stuff. And I really want to do that before January 3rd. I know, I know, it's after Christmas now, but... Hey, better late than never to do some holiday party stuff. Plus, also, I am not missing another holiday party like I did in 2020. No. I, again, I know, I know, it's after Christmas. But, hey, again, better late than never. Right? Hey, point is, I need to really, hopefully, make you guys proud again with more Super PS content that is more than just look-back videos. I do appreciate you guys. You guys are actually liking the look back videos for the Club and Rewritten Ad Encounter series. Uh, I'm glad you guys are liking those. Of course, we always will remember Rewritten for the rest of history. So that's kind of why I'm doing a lot of look back videos based off of Rewritten because we didn't get anything related to it this holiday season because it's no longer available. So I'm doing everything in memory of Rewritten leading up to the one year anniversary of its closure. So, you probably can understand why I'm doing this. I mean, again, we gotta always remember one of the greatest CBPSs of all time. Uh, so that can still explain why I'm doing that. And, um, I might do Waddle Up Best of Favorites next year for its 5th anniversary since I made the video. So it probably would make more sense to do it there, considering it will be 5 years since that happened in, uh, Waddle Up back in the day. You know, back when that game was still around. Dear God, that game was awesome. Dear God, I really truly played a lot of great Club Penguin private servers back in the day. It sucks that all of them are gone now. Except for Club Penguin Online. Frick that server. Um, point is, I didn't truly play a lot of great Sabre PSs over the last five years. And it still sucks that all of them are gone. That's why I need to join more to, uh... Keep myself in the community. Because I feel like I have left it again. Which is bad. For not only you guys, but I feel bad for myself. I feel I've left the community again. Which is bad. For also myself, and probably you guys. Actually, comment down below if that's actually the case. Because I don't know. You guys comment down below if that's a bad thing. I still love the Club Penguin Private Server community. I'm very glad I found it via rewritten. And I do not regret it one bit. Because most of you that are subscribed to this channel, I met through the CPPS community. Most of you, for the fact. And I can say that because, yeah, I found a lot of you guys via the uh, CBPS community. And I'm not trying to leave again. Trust me. Oh, no, no, no. God, no. I do not want to be, like, the way I was back in the second half of the year where I just refused to do anything like that. So, trust me. I'm going to make, I'm going to hopefully try and get myself back in order. Hopefully keep myself in for as long as possible because I love CBPSs. And uh, hopefully that should be very soon. I should hopefully just get myself stuck back in before I uh, l leave again. <laughs> because I promised you guys when I came back that I hope to not leave again. 
And that's still true. I promised you guys back when I again returned that I hope to not leave again. Because I don't want this channel to go downhill again. So please look out for that in the future. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, hopefully I'll also get into Clipping Unimagined as well. Um, and actually, Love 11 CP actually told me how... Told me, gave me recommendations, to not only getting a new Club Penguin, but also Club Penguin Imagined as well. Um, which I can actually show you, just for the literal heck of the video. Um, and we can actually go to the update video from the week prior. So he says, hey Lego, I think I figured out another solution to make new CP and CP Imagined load. Try passing um, this plus Shift and R. At uh, both of these apps. I'll try doing that soon. Not tonight because uh, I'm actually really tired. But I will do that very, very soon. Maybe I might make Chilling Out Stupid PS again. Oh, no, no, no. Trust me. Chilling Out Stupid PS ain't dead. Oh, no, no, no. God, no. The reason there hasn't been an episode for like over a month, nearly two months, is just because there hasn't been really that much. And yes, I know. I know. I know. That's my own fault for not doing anything. But uh, trust me. The series ain't dead. Trust me. If you guys were thinking about that, no, don't worry. Trust me. I remember. Um, so, yeah, I hope to get back to all of that very soon. And we will hopefully uh, be back in order uh, very, very soon. I really want to check out more Super PSs. Um, since you guys have already recommended me uh, New Club Penguin, Club Penguin Imagine, and Club Penguin Legacy, those are the three that you guys have been asking me to play for months. I understand. It's just I keep forgetting to actually do something about it. That's my own fault. But trust me, I know you guys have been asking me to play those games for like months and months now. Trust me, I understand. I just keep forgetting to do that. And again, that's my fault intentionally for uh, forgetting to do that. But hopefully before the respective holiday parties end, I hopefully can get into those free uh, and hopefully experience them before they go away. So, yeah, that would be nice. Because, yeah, obviously they're going to go away at, like, probably the beginning of January. Um, and, yeah, I want to get into a lot more CBPSs. And, yeah, that's something I'm hoping to do uh, very soon in the future. Now, outside of that, let's uh, kind of move away from that for a bit. And I'll talk about something completely different. Let's see. Here's my phone. Let's talk about ZL2. Yeah, let's just talk. Let's just uh, move that away from that. Oh, holy frick. We got so many godforsaken YouTube notifications. Oh, nice. Dang, man, that's a lot of them. All right, let's talk about ZL2 for 2022. Uh, January. Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Um, so December 29th, as usual, the Christmas party will come to an official close after two weeks. Of course, I will set up a New Year's party. The real issue, though, do I leave the snow? Do I leave the snow there? I'll leave that up to you guys. I don't care either way. I just want to hear from you guys. Would you guys be fine if I keep the snow? Or do you want me to get rid of it? I do not care either way. I just want you guys to tell me in the comments. I do not care if I get rid of the snow. But comment down below if you'd like me to leave it there for a few months. Or just get rid of it. I don't care either way. I don't care if I have to do either one. Just feedback in the comments. That's all I need from you. Uh, but apart from that, all there really is besides that is just it'll, it'll of course change. Actually, I think I want to do nighttime again like last year. Where I have the New Year's party full at night. I really liked doing that last year. And it was actually really cool. I don't know why I didn't do it in previous years. Actually, most New Year's parties have actually always taken place at night. For uh, various reasons. And uh, that's because sometimes the ongoing Christmas party would still be going on at the time. For the most part. Um... Oh, right, and then this is just stuff I have to announce next time. So all there is is just the end of the Christmas party. I have to actually go in and ZL2, start cleaning some stuff up. I'm going to start a night in advance, 
and I'll start cleaning up the party. Because it's a big party, and uh, I want to actually have the video go out on the right day, and um, I just thought I'd do that. <laughs> and um, Yeah, now as for ZL Free, I still have to do something regardless to uh, the Christmas update for ZL Free. I still have to do something. And uh, I had a I had a gift in mind. I know, I know, it's after Christmas, but I had a little gift in mind, which I still have to make. And then uh, I can just take down the event on January 1st. I realized I have to do ZL2, no, sorry, ZL3 and the Allied Christmas events being taken down both on the same day. And I don't know when one's going to be harder. I don't know which one's going to be harder. I don't know if the LI Christmas event's going to be harder to clean up or is the ZL3 one. Actually, I have an idea. I'm actually going to leave most of the Christmas stuff up for both worlds just so I don't have to pressure myself. And I don't want to burn myself out too in the process. That's really bad. I don't want to pressure myself. Because, of course, that's bad. So I'm probably going to leave a lot of the Christmas stuff up, probably. Well, I'm going to take the main stuff down. I might just leave all the ice all around ZL3 for, like, probably another week. And then I'll probably clean it up around the time the Zola's Up 8th Anniversary Party begins um, on the 15th. So I might just leave the ice around. I might just clean up all the mainline Christmas stuff. Actually, I'll probably just leave all of the ice elements there. I'll just take down all the christmas theme stuff that isn't ice. That's probably what I'm just going to do. It'll be much easier on myself, by the way. Again, I don't want to pressure myself or burn myself out. I hear how bad it is doing that. And I never want to hopefully experience that. Because I hear it's really bad. Do not do that. And I'd never want to find out. But, um... But on that day, uh, the uh, Christmas party will end on January 1st. New Year's party will automatically go up. It'll last for that entire first week of 2023. The ZL2 one will start December 29th and uh, end on January 5th. Now, here is something I also need from you guys. Do I reveal... Uh, well, the ZL3 events, I think I do... Here... Here's the thing, guys. I need this from you guys. I genuinely can't decide. And this is the first time where I'm actually going to need you guys to help me decide this. Because I genuinely cannot decide. Do I reveal the ZL2 events the day I do the New Year's party? Or wait until after the New Year's party when it's actually 2023? The same applies for ZL3. Do I do it the day the New Year's party goes live? Or just wait till the week after when I clean it up? You guys can help me decide those two things in the comments because I genuinely have no clue. Um, uh, I don't know. It, just for those clear, that would be January 5th for ZL2 respectively and January 8th for ZL3 if I were to do them after the New Year's party. If I were to do them the day the New Year's party would happen, it would be December 29th for ZL2 and January 1st for ZL3. You guys can help me decide that in the comments. Because I want to hear your guys' feedback. With that being said, outside of that, of course, this Saturday, December 31st, we will have the usual Backyard New Year's Eve episode to commemorate of 2022. Of course, later that night, we will, of course, have the New Year's Countdown video for 2023, where, of course, as usual, I will, of course, stand in front of my TV and watch it turn 2023. Of course, it'll be, of course, in the same room as usual. Um, it'll, of course, obviously, be in my living room with the TV and all of that. Uh, so that's going to be extremely fun. And then, of course, we'll have the Sunny Vlog many, many hours uh, after that. And then uh, I have to clean up LA Christmas and uh, ZL3 Christmas events. Which, hopefully, I'm going to do them... Not as much. So again, if you do see Christmas decorations still lying around in Legos Island on New Year's Day, seriously, please do forgive me. I can't do everything. It's going to take a while to clean them up. So if you guys don't mind just seeing a few Christmas decorations still lying around, just know 
I can't get to everything in one day. Especially when I'm taking down two of them at once. Now as for ZL3, that world is actually really small. So that one, I probably won't have that much of an issue with. Legos Island, on the other hand, that's going to be a problem. That's why I like to leave some of them up. I'll probably leave the winter cabin up until after the New Year's party. Because I don't feel like cleaning that up. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, maybe I should just leave it there for the rest of the winter. Now that I think about it. Why not just wait until the spring to clean it up? Now that I think about it. Should I do that? Because, my God, that's going to take forever to clean up. I just realized. But the point remains... That's actually all I wanted to say for this update video. I greatly apologize. It's really long. And I hope I don't do that again. It is currently 9.44 p.m. at night. Um, is this done by any chance, the uh, video? Okay, it's 25 seconds away from being uploaded. I'm going to upload this and, of course, upload this video respectively. And uh, go to ZL4. Two for a few minutes, just start cleaning up the Christmas party, and then just be done. Because I'm pretty tired. But I want to at least start just getting maybe just a few areas cleaned up. Just start a little night in advance so I don't have to go as insane on December 29th. Point is, I'll see you next time. And I'll see you all in the next update video on Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. And by then, I will not have the Santa hat on anymore. I will ha just be back to not having a hat on. And potentially, these lights might also be gone too at the same time. You never know though. We have no clue when we're actually planning to take down the decks. But for now, I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.